Let's talk about holding the guitar pick. The guitar pick is an extension of your index finger. The tip of the pick comes out of the tip of your index finger about the length of a long fingernail. Then that is covered with the flat of your thumb. Don't involve any other fingers, just, just the index finger and your thumb. The tip of the pick should also not be crooked, but should again extend out of the tip of your index finger. Hold the pick firmly, and yeah, but 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 not but not too firmly. Just just enough so that it's not uh, 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 being displaced or or moved when you are uh, are actually striking a string. Let, let's go through the strings, strings one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's start with string one and a downstroke. String two and a downstroke. String three. You'll notice that the stroke ends up resting on the adjacent string. Let's go the other way. This way you just let gravity do its work and just fall into the adjacent string. Let's go back the other way. And the same thing again, returning. Just let the pick fall into the next string. That's called a rest stroke. When you come to rest on the adjacent string, it's called a rest stroke. The same technique can be used for playing a chord. Just let the pick fall through all of the strings. In this case, I'm using a G chord. Think of the pick as falling through the strings. Now, in terms of in terms of the uh, the um, the technique of actually making the stroke, the stroke is not made with your hand or fingers or wrist. The stroke is made by rolling your forearm like so. Take a look at uh, at the picking technique rolling the forearm and it's a very minimal movement this this kind this type of movement will allow you to play for long periods of time with absolutely no stress much different than doing this or this either of those should be uh, should be avoided not in your not in your fingers and thumb and move, movement that way and uh, and not definitely not in the wrist because that that will really end up causing uh, causing trouble as you move forward but just a gentle rolling of your entire forearm like this now uh, for for an additional exercise uh, to try a down and up stroke on uh, for now just the first string You can see the rolling of the forearm. That same technique can be used for chord playing, except it's just a little wider when you're using it for chords. I'll show you what I mean. You can go through all the strings in this way. Let's move to a chord. Let's try an E minor chord. Now watch, watch as I attack the chord. Watch, watch the rolling of my forearm. The pick is always, again, firmly held, but, but not too firm. You don't want tension in your hand, and, and, the, and the, the front, uh, the, 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 the forearm is just simply rolling. If you roll your whole forearm, like that, it, it'll be just about the distance of the six strings. It, it's really quite, quite uh, uh, perfect. <laughs> All right.
Now, let's do, let's do a down and up stroke the same way. Note how my forearm is just rolling. The pick uh, is uh, works just beautifully for uh, for rhythm playing and 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 uh, and percussive playing uh, it, because of its uh, its clarity of attack. Now, when I say clarity of attack, uh, I, I, I sort of moved from the rolling of the forearm to clarity of attack. And what I mean by that is there should always be a percussive uh, nature to uh, to playing uh, using. Uh, well, especially when playing rhythm and when using a pick, there, there should be a, a percussive quality to your playing. Let's, let's just get rid of the chord. I'm just going to mute uh, the strings and I'll show you what I mean. This is like a drum, right? And you should never lose that sense of the right hand being like, like a drum. And it's that pick that allows uh, allows for that for that percussive and uh, percussive attack and that clarity of attack. That's quite different than this attack, and and we do and and we don't want this kind of attack because it isn't an attack. It, it's it's really difficult to tell where the beat point is there. It's difficult to tell that there's a rhythm going on. What we want to be able to hear is is a you know is a nice is a nice uh, firm and and percussive a, a, attack with the uh, with the right hand. And you'll notice that my right uh, right arm, the forearm, is still rolling. And all I do, all I have to do is is just is is just roll it you know quickly and and I, I I get this 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 nice this nice attack the pick really becomes a part of your body it's just it's just uh, 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 becomes molded into into your uh, um, uh, into your hand you it's it's a very natural thing once you get used to holding the pick it shouldn't feel awkward in any way uh, so I, I invite you to do some of the things that I just uh, just suggested Downstrokes. Down and upstrokes. Rolling of the forearm. And do exactly those same things with chords. Downstroke. Rolling the forearm in a wider arc. And down and upstroke. And also try muting the strings and listening for that percussive attack. <laughs>